Good morning, my name is Andra Tringali, I am an assistant professor at the Digestive Endoscopy Unit of the Policlinico Gemelli Foundation, uh, Catholic University of Rome. The head of uh, our endoscopy unit is uh, Professor Guido Costamagna. My main field uh, of interest is biliopancreatic endoscopy and today I wish uh, to introduce our paper fully covered self-expandable metal stents to dilate uh, uh, persistent pancreatic strictures in chronic pancreatitis, long-term follow-up from a, a prospective study. We know that the pancreatic duct drainage by ERCP insertion of plastic stents uh, is effective in the treatment of pain related to uh, chronic pancreatitis. But the, the main limitation of pancreatic plastic stent is the short duration of stent patency, which usually is less than one year, and the need for repeated ERCPs uh, for stent exchange. Pancreatic duct stricture resolution after insertion of a single pancreatic stent uh, like this, it's a pancreatic plastic stent, is reported in near half of the cases. We can have more promising results by the insertion of multiple side-by-side -side plastic stents uh, which uh, obtained uh, in, the, in the literature uh, dilatation of the pancreatic uh, duct stricture in 84% of the patients after uh, a mean follow-up of uh, three years. But uh, this technique, the insertion of multiple side-by-side -side, uh, plastic stenting is uh, technically demanding and uh, during uh, insertion of the stents there is the risk of intraductal migration. Uh, due to these uh, limitations, uh, we felt the need to conduct the present study to increase our knowledge on pancreatic duct stricture dilatation in the setting of uh, chronic pancreatitis. We, we can assume that uh, a single uh, metal stent, it's a, a 6 mm diameter metal stent, is uh, equivalent to uh, four plastic stents like this. You see that with one stent we can obtain the same diameter uh, that we have with the four plastic stents and uh, the insertion of uh, uh, metal stents uh, uh, is uh, technically uh, easier than insertion of four plastic stents and uh, we can treat the patient with two procedures one to place the stents and the second one to uh, remove uh, the self-expandable metal stents. In uh, our study we used the uh, fully covered uh, 90S bumpy stent uh, which has uh, some uh, characteristics. It's uh, braided uh, within nitinol wire. It has a uh, uh, flared ends uh, to prevent migration. There is a retrieval uh, loop to uh, remove uh, the stent with the, with the forceps and the stent is fully covered with the silicone at the flare dance and in the middle portion it is covered with the polytetrafluoroethylene. The middle portion of the stent has uh, irregular uh, cell sides resulting in uh, different segmental radial force which provide a very high conformability like this. You see that the stent can conform to the anatomy of, uh, of the pancreatic duct. The bumpy stent is available in 6, 8 and 10 mm diameter but for this study and for the pancreatic duct we used only 6 and 8 mm diameter and the length is uh, available is from 4 to 12 centimeters. One concern with the use of fully covered metal stents in the pancreatic duct is uh, the risk to include side branches. For that reason, we asked uh, to the company to develop a custom-made stent with a 3 cm length with uh, two objectives. To reduce the amount of obstructed side branches and to cover only the length of the structure uh, reducing the possible trauma uh, to the pancreatic duct. We uh, conducted uh, this uh, prospective sing single center evaluation of the bumpy stent in 15 uh, consecutive uh, patients. 
the main inclusion criteria of uh, our study were uh, uh, location of the stricture in the pancreatic head, uh, which was previously treated uh, with the pancreatic sphincterotomy and single plastic stent insertion, pain relief uh, after a, a single uh, pancreatic plastic stenting, and the persistence of the main pancreatic duct stricture after single plastic stent removal. And another inclusion criteria is uh, uh, pancreatic duct dilatation upstream the stricture of uh, uh, more or equal to 6 mm. The primary endpoint was the assessment of the pancreatic fully covered sense removability uh, six months after placement and we obtained uh, removability in all the cases. The secondary endpoints were the rate of uh, main pancreatic duct street to resolution after fully covered stems uh, removal and the pain relief uh, after uh, a three years uh, mean follow-up. We had uh, street to dilatation uh, in 93% of uh, the patient and 89% of patients were pain-free after more than uh, three year mean follow up. So these uh, results are, uh, I, I, I say, satisfactory. And another endpoint was the evaluation of fully covered stems related complication, uh, mainly migration, which in our CDS occurred in quite high number of patients, 46%, but it was uh, symptomatic only in one third of uh, the cases. And uh, another complication was uh, the uh, fully covered SAMS induced stricture, which was diagnosed in uh, our series in 27% of the patient and was successfully retreated by plastic stents insertions. We, according to our data, our results confirmed the promising results of pancreatic fully covered SAMS in obtaining pancreatic duct stricture resolution in the setting of chronic pancreatitis after three years mean follow-up, which is substan substantially longer than uh, pub published in other studies. And the fully covered SAMS migration is still an issue, also according to our experience. Unfortunately, the custom-made three centimeter long stents that uh, we used in our study had a very high migration rate, so uh, modifying the length of the stent do not affect the um, uh, migration rate according to our experience and another problem of uh, fully covered the metal stents in the pancreatic duct is uh, um, the risk uh, of development of de novo strictures which seems uh, related uh, in our experience uh, to uh, the pressure of the flared end of the study on the pancreatic duct. According to our uh, experience, we can conclude that the pancreatic uh, fully covered metal stents are uh, easily removable and have a promising, promising clinical results uh, after a medium-term follow-up. But uh, we need a new fully covered SAMS uh, design to prevent the migration and to uh, reduce uh, the occurrence of uh, the novel pancreatic duct stricture. Uh, according to our experience, uh, we still believe that the pancreatic metal stents need further evaluation in the setting of uh, clinical trials. Grazie and uh, arrivederci.